Welcome to YouTube, Yamates! Welcome back to our Road to Himeji series, episode 48. Holy cow. We are getting closer and closer to 50, which means I am hopefully aiming for a closer and closer to getting this finished. Um, but yeah, so um, I know it's been a while since I've last uploaded, but I have been doing some work off camera, as you can see here with our little uh, space of, um, yeah, just near the entrance pretty much. Yeah, I got this part of the wall and entrance done. I am currently working on this wall as well. But uh, I've been doing a lot of this off camera since it's not insanely interesting to watch that, I guess. I could do time lapses and stuff, but yeah, just a white wall with the, uh, what is it, the cup, uh, deep slate. Yeah, just deep slate, so nothing too interesting going on there, but we are making a lot of progress. And in today's episode, we are going to, again, do some more building and getting some more uh things done with our castle and so let me just make my way there and so yeah we if you remember last episode we finished this uh pretty pretty cozy um what, what would you call it like the soldiers quarters and like dining area as well as their little sleeping rooms and yeah and, and as well as the captain's sleeping quarters of course the double bed for him but yeah it turned out really nice and i like it a lot but today i am going to be working on quite a few floors so this floor um i do plan on making it like a like a war council room like maybe they'll have a couple maps and tables and chairs and stuff where they can uh, ideally, uh, plan wars and all battles and, you know, war tactics and all that stuff. So, we're planning on building that in this floor for this episode. And then this episode, or this floor, um, actually I'm not 100% sure I should have thought about that. But on the next floor, I have already gone ahead and put a lot of bookshelves and stuff and I just need a add uh, some of the remaining details but this is our enchanting room kind of thing for the castle we'll finish this off as well uh, we might even finish off this floor before this one and then once we get past that this is obviously going to be our main um our what is it my kind of sleeping room kind of my room i guess and then up here we could do some more storage and then up here is like our meditating room we can have some stuff and uh go from there but yes um that is the plan for today is just try and finish as many floors um i've also gone ahead and done a lot more work on the exterior of this as well and let's see just flying down here yeah, so I've gone and built out this little area and this section of our castle grounds. Um, and then I needed to connect a little walkway up to that area. But yeah, making lots of progress um, as far as our castle grounds go. And it is quite uh, time consuming, I will say that, to do all these walls and stairs and all this stuff. But um, slowly making progress for sure um and so yeah and uh that is what i have planned for today and maybe we'll do a little bit of exploring just to keep it up and just see what else is going on in this world especially with the new updates but for now let me gather all the stuff for our war council uh planning room and then we will go from there so once i gather all my stuff and explain some of the ideas or details and designs that i have we will go into a time lapse hopefully and finish that off. So be right back with that.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. And here we are with our finished War Council room. And I think it turned out pretty great. And so, yeah, this is obviously my throne that I will sit upon while we discuss war tactics and whatnot. But yeah, I created these little chairs for my little other counselors that I may have. And I wanted to add these like little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like zen areas for our little place. But yeah, I thought that was pretty nice. And so I definitely still need to fill up this entire map of the world. Um, yeah, I still have, that might be my next project for this episode. I'll do that all off camera, obviously, since, you know, uh, it might not be fun to watch me fill in maps, but I'll stop along the way to see if we find any cool structures or anything cool generation stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and I'm gonna try and fill this in as much as we can. And then also on these tables, I left them empty because I wanted to collect a creeper head, a skeleton, a zombie head and maybe a wither skeleton and then in the correlating um item frames i would put their either the, like weapon or some items that they drop for a like, creeper you know gunpowder or the skeleton they use the bow so i would put that there and then the zombie i'd put zombie flesh and the wither skeleton i could put in that maybe the stone sword that they use but also i also created this little seat area for my little records keeper kind of person guy so that whenever they're here they can take notes and record the history that's taking place here in our world and i thought that'd be fun to do um after we get all of this castle set up maybe i'll write books here and there about uh, the episode and what we accomplish in those episodes and yeah i thought that would be pretty interesting but this uh, turned out much better than I had anticipated. So I really like how it all turned out. Still need to get those heads and we'll also just fill in this map. So I'm going to start going ahead and filling these maps a little bit. And then while we come across stuff in this world that might be seem interesting, we'll go ahead and stop along the way and record some of the cool structures. And I'm also planning on probably adding banners to our map. So... Do I have a map here? I could easily. So I wonder, is this which map is this? Okay, so probably not that map. This map would be pretty cool to use. So let's see what the scale. So three out of four, and it shows a like a. Let's see. Let me move my shield. So yeah, you can see that we're in the top corner there, and that's our base. And then we've got all the surrounding areas, so we could definitely do something with this. We could even place it maybe in the middle. Yeah, show us that right there. Or even along the edge. We could even uh, angle it so that the scales... Uh, what is? What would this be? What direction is this? Uh, west, east, and then yeah. So. Uh, the possibilities are in this, and obviously we could just do all the way to the table, but we'll figure that out along the way. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and start filling in some of these maps, and then we will go from there. And yeah, I'll pause, not pause, I'll record here and there if we ever find cool structures or things along in this world that I feel like would be fun to record. So yeah, I am going to sleep the night and then we will be off on our adventures. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so I'm just about finishing up my uh, first map. Yeah, first map that isn't our original map. And I just went ahead and did the north side. Oh, okay, yes, perfect. Uh, I think we already have been here before when we were exploring the 1.18 update, but yes, okay. Let's see here. Okay, so that is our first finished map. Uh, yeah, that we've finished an episode of, other than this one, obviously, but yeah. I went ahead and got all the north part of this map, or our world map we we're going to add and it's pretty it was pretty nostalgic to fly 
back over here to our starting grounds, our roots. And yeah, I mean, this turned out so, so good. And it was, yeah, I still need to come back here and fill off a lot of the decoration and stuff, but we need to get a lot of these pets over our little doggos over our base as well. But man, this feels good to be back. This does indeed. But um, I noticed something new with our generation. This guy, yeah. So I wanted to go ahead and explore the shipwreck and see. I don't know. Did I already? I don't remember if I did or not. And I did not. Okay, so yeah. We got a little jungle wood uh, shipwreck here. And is this going to be the only one? Cool. Yeah, but still, that was pretty neat to see a... And there's tropical fish. Whoa, puffer fish too. Don't need to. Don't need to get stung by you guys. But yeah, look at this. So this first map is finished, and I'm pretty sure it'll look fantastic next to our other map. But yeah, we. So I definitely remember now. We definitely did come to this village in our 1.18 little uh, tour here. And wow, this is some crazy generation with the snow in the deserts. But um, yeah, I might try and do some upgrades to this village since we're so close to our other home base over here. But yeah, um, other than that, a lot has changed as far as the um, biomes go. Uh, if we fly over here, um, yeah, we've got a jungle over here now, and we used to not have a jungle in our other pre-1.18 world, and this is sick! What is this? Oh my! Wow! Look at this! Okay, let's, um, take a look at this little biome. What the heck? This would be way fun to build, like, bridges crossed here and there, and I... The sheep. But yeah. Oh wow. This would be way fun to build some sort of village over here. And man. They really did some crazy upgrades with this um, 1.18 update. This is fun. This is a cool biome. What is this biome? I don't even. Oh. Uh, just plains? That's it? Hmm. Well, anyways, this is a cool plains biome. And yeah, so like I was saying, we got our jungle over here now. So that's fun. And yeah, I'll have to keep updating our maps, but really happy with how this world generation is turning out. And I also forgot to add, um, in this map, uh, let's see if I can... Man, yeah. Okay. Here, um, let's see if I can press chat. So, this area right here, there is a what is it? A sea monument. So, yeah, little guardians that I have not yet killed. So, I'll have to go over there and um, take care of them and maybe do a farm. But for now, I will continue and see. So, uh, what might look funny is all these animals out in the ocean and it definitely does look funny and just to explain why that happened is um, so prior to 1.18 coming out I definitely did a lot of uh, chunk deletion in order to hopefully get some new biomes and stuff and obviously we have since what I just explored was uh, all new but uh, a lot of the entities will stay and so um, that's what happened there is a lot of our entities, you know, like the horses and cows stayed and didn't get deleted with the chunk itself or the spot. Yeah, the chunks. And so I've just got a lot of animals over there and I can't uh, I can't fly up. No, it's OK. Oh, shoot. I don't even have my end chest. OK, never mind. Not OK. There we go. Let's grab a rocket box and just grab us a stack. 
But yeah, um, so like I was saying, a lot of those chunks got deleted and upgraded to a 1.18 version, but our animals and all those entities did not also get deleted. So thus, they're all in the ocean because all those chunks got deleted and turned it into an ocean or something, and then yeah. But let's see, so now we've got these two maps. Let's go ahead and put them into our war council room. I think about it, this way is actually easier. Perfect. Ah, here is our chest. Okay, and let's see. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so we do one there. Put it that way. So yeah, we could put flags. So we could put a flag here saying like our starter base. And obviously our Himaji Joe now. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And then we can also just label some of these biomes that we have. So like all of this jungle, this deep dark oak forest, maybe like our deserts. And so yeah, I think we'll go with this kind of a style. And then so I'll go build one more map here and then we'll just continue to build this out. Um, I don't know if I'll do this all in today's episode, but yeah, we'll definitely start building this out more and more as we work on it. But that is going to be all for this room, and uh, next room I want to get started on is this one. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab some more stuff, and uh, I'll prepare to get this room done as well. So once we do that, uh, we'll jump into another time lapse and get this done. So <laughs> hold on tight, guys. Be ready with this one. Alright guys, welcome back, and here we are in our third floor, so yeah, third floor, and so yes, for this floor, we are actually going to be making a kind of a museum, a small museum, uh, that will display all of our, maybe ores, all the different kinds of armors, weapons, and tools, and also, I have an idea, to display maybe some uh, helmets that look like um, a Japanese style helmet, if that makes sense. Um, and then, let's actually, I'm gonna show you guys now. So, the idea behind this is, um, let's see, here. I'm gonna be using these leather caps and then dyeing them different colors uh, to sort of, um, what is it? Symbolize the different com uh what would I say? Uh, oh man. I'm brain farting it. Okay. To symbolize the different empires that are here. So for example, if I were to do that, it would create a purple cap. But uh I was learned this while I was just messing around. If you do that and throw in one darker, it'll actually make this one shade darker. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is pretty unique and pretty cool. So, uh, like I was going to say, um, I'm going to be making this as a sort of a, like a symbolize uh, that um, we have this empire that we defeated, and here we are collecting its helmet to show that you know we we won or whatever and so um, what I'm doing here is what I went ahead is uh, I added a half slab here and then so put a full sl or full block here and then obviously put the dispenser in with the armor stand and you push that out it'll pop up like this and then that is all we need for there so we'll collect that <gasps> crap I actually messed up I messed it up um, what you first need to do is place down that uh, fence gate. So let's see, fence gate there, armor stand in, boom, okay. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, so it's gonna symbolize the Kabuto of like maybe a, a different empire. And yeah, see, like a little purple, darker shade of purple with the uh, crimson fence gate so this is like the empire that'll be represented by purple and then we can maybe in the future create a purple empire and then so on and so forth that's what I'm going to do 
with these other colors. So for example, the let's do the acacia one, orange, and let's go ahead and turn that into orange. And I actually want to make this also one shade darker. So see, it makes it like a little brown, but that's fine. So yeah, I just wanted to do something like this. Thought that would be fun. Create these little kabutos uh, to show that you know we did conquer these empires, and here we are just uh, showcasing that. And so yeah, see something like that. So now we've got a purple and orange, and then the other two colors. And let me see what over here. But yeah, that's kind of the idea why I want to go with, uh, with these four, um, four showcases, I guess, showcase. And I think that's what I will do. But yeah, that's it for now. And I won't be able to finish um, all of this museum floor at once because I do need to get a full set of netherite gear and netherite tools again which I don't have currently, but I'll have to do that in order to finish this museum floor, but that'll be fine. So I let's go ahead and jump into this time lapse and I'm gonna build as much of this floor as I can and with what I have and then once we're done with that, we'll <laughs> either go find some more stuff or keep on building this castle. So let's go ahead and do that.
guys enjoyed the time lapse. So, uh, a few more things I need to do before we get this done. I need to add a glass here and another glass on top of here as well. Make it look like a little display case. These will leave to be able to access to read about all of our. Yeah, so we'll get all the armors here, and then I need to still need a diamond. Uh, diamond horse armor as well as the gold one and then we can hopefully get that filled in and then we also need to get our netherite and all of our tools which I'll do all off camera but uh, one final thing I did want to show on camera a cool little trick uh, so I don't know who to credit for this but this is going to be like a little um, Samurai sword stand, I guess you could call it. And so, yeah, place your two armor stands here. Place that uh, so that the block goes in there. Place the redstone and piston. Okay, so yeah, now you have your armor stands in there. What you want to do next is let's go ahead and build up our sword. And so we'll be using an end rod here and then cut those down and then we'll be using chains as the blade since that's the closest thing we have to a blade uh, in minecraft that we can do next we will want to place one up so the redstone here and place that that'll push that block and then let's go on to the next one let's see so right there right there Go ahead, place the redstone and place that. Good. And then the last one will go here and there. Perfect. Okay. And so, as you can see, it looks off balance because obviously the armor stands are holding the blade. And so, what we want to do here is place the blocks there. Oop, not, not the wood. We want to place a redstone here and then push the blade out. It will push this uh, armor stand, but the good thing about that is now we can push that block here. And now it's spread pretty evenly, I'd say. So you can see that line on the wood log here, and you can see the line on the wood log there. And so, yeah, it uh, does even it out pretty well. And voila, now you have the armor stand holding the little handle part and the blade as well of our samurai sword slash katana, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that on camera. So that is a cool little samurai sword design that we can stick here. We got our little kabutos and our little empires. I am thinking of just creating a little fence around here to kind of block this off so that it's like a no touch zone kind of area. But like I was saying, I'm going to be doing all of this off camera and filling this all in, especially since I have to go looking for nether scraps in the nether and that sounds like a whole lot of fun. But um, yeah, that'll do it for this floor. So I think... Um, Oh, uh, other things that I actually do want to do is I want to grab all the banners from like the pillagers, the end cities, and all those. Yeah, just as many banners as we can get. And then just start placing them on the walls to show that like, hey, we've actually conquered them. And who knows, we even might put the dragon head somewhere. We could put it somewhere in here, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we could put the dragon head in here as well. And then, yeah. I'll figure out the lighting a little bit better because um, it does get a little gloomy in some areas for example here and everywhere we have like the little kabuto stands but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the, this little um, this area of our little museum and we still have many more things we could add uh, we could even add like let's see do I have any more book stands or what is it lecterns yeah we could even have I could even add lecterns here on the sides of these to explain like you know the little uh, what these empires were the different empires and then let's also go ahead and cover these guys 
But yeah, we can have all these books explaining the little different um, areas. And I think that would actually be pretty fun to do. Oop. Let's see, G4. Okay, perfect. Let's get that all set. And like so. Okay, so yeah, we could even have all these books here. Like, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just throw in our books. Book, another book in Quill. And our last one. And then, yeah, so uh, we could even think of names for the, all these different empires and their colors. And I was honestly looking at this one, and it does look like a bear. The more that I look at it, like this is like the the nostrils, top of mouth, and then the eyes maybe. And like maybe the wolf, bear, whatever that could be, and whatever this could be. But yeah, that, that would be a fun idea to do as well. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think that'll do it. We were able to get a lot of our museum done. I still need to fill it in, obviously, but layout and everything is done. And then also, most importantly, we got our war council room done. And then I need to fill this map in as well. But we got our little throne, our little yeah, yeah, chair, pretty much, to talk to our little counselors and whatnot. We have our scribe here, and we need to add a book to him as well. But yeah, really happy with how this is all turning out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I had a lot of fun building this war council room and our little museum. And then in our next episode, I do hope we finish as the, probably the rest of this castle. And then... Uh, the castle grounds, uh, not sure yet, but we'll we'll get there. But yeah, that should do it all for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, arigato gozaimasu, and sayonara! See you next time! <laughs>